In our last tutorial, we have seen brute force matching with OORBIT descriptors for feature matching. And here we will see brute force matching with safe descriptors and ratio test. Let's import CV2. Import NumPy as NP. Import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. I'm going to make one variable conflex. We are going to use the same image from our previous video. CV2 dot imread. Inside this, I will pass image name that is con dot jpg zero because we want to read this image as a gray scale color. And then let us print our image plt dot show conflex color mapping c map is is equal to gray and here in the output you can see this is our original image that we are going to match with the image that is that will be present in the shelf now let us read our second image image is equal to cv2 dot imread and the image name is shell dot jpg zero and then plt dot im show image and then color map is going to be gray now let us execute our code and here in the output you can see that this is our second image where we have this conflex image here we want to match this image with our original image now let's create a shift object how we created in our previous tutorial that time we created for orb this time we will create for shift the only difference in this method is that we are going to use the knn machine learning algorithm to find the distance you might have already heard about knn or k nearest neighbor algorithm that method we are going to use here to calculate the distance and that is the only difference between our previous method that we have seen in our, in our previous tutorial now let's make one variable shift and then i will call cv2 then x features 2d dot shift underscore create and this is our object now we are going to find the key points and descriptor kp des and then we will call this object shift from this we will call detect and compute method to get the distance and then conflex and this is going to be none then second is going to be kp1 and then des1 and then again we will call shift and then detect and compute and then image and none now let's create brute force matcher object i will make one variable bf and then i will call cv2 dot bf matcher now let's find the best matches among all match i will make one variable matches and then bf dot knn match inside this descriptor and descriptor one and then k is equal to two and then we can print our matches here and these are the matches from two images now we are going to find the best match using ratio test I will make one empty list best is equal to and then for match one match two in matches if match one dot distance is less than 0.75 into match two dot distance then we are going to append in best and then match one. 
and then we can put best here and here in the output you can see that we have found best matches here now let's draw our matches i'll make one variable shift underscore matches and then i will call cv2 dot draw matches knn and then conflex then our key points then image then key point one and then best here we then we have none and flags is going to be true now let us plot our image plt dot im show shift underscore matches and here in the output you can see that this time the prediction is even more correct because it has correctly detected that these two images are similar and this image it has predicted with very low probability you, you see just two or three lines here but here you will see 95 percent of the line that means it was able to detect the features in the other image similar to the original one correctly this is how you can do feature matching using brute force matching with shift descriptors and ratio test i hope you like this video if you enjoy my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching